Hi everyone, I'm Jason Jurtic and this is The Mobile Philosopher. In this video, we're going to quickly see how to change every other row or column its color so that we can have intervals here and see this much more clearly. This is very simple to do. The first thing we're going to do is select everything to make sure it applies to the entire sheet. We're going to go to, I'm sorry, we're going to go to color here and go to conditional formatting. Once we go here, we're going to go to format cell if, and we're down to custom formula is. And then here we're going to put equals, and then we're going to put is even, and you can put is odd as well. There's no difference here. You can do either one. And then we're going to put a parenthesis, and then we're going to put row, for example, here, and then we're going to put a parenthesis again, and put this here. Okay. As you can see, it automatically change with the color we're using here. You can change this color to anything you want. But as you can see, automatically, the second I put that in there, it's going to present itself as doing every other one. If I change this to odd, is odd, it will, little by little, change those. And now, we'll start from the first column instead of the second one. So this is very nice because it does it very quickly. And then, after I finish that, we can add a new rule and do the same thing with columns. We'll go over here, because we already have everything grabbed. We'll go down here, click on custom formula is. We'll put here equals, and then we'll put is even this time. And then we'll put parentheses, column. And then we're going to put another parentheses, close out with another parentheses. And as you can see, it changes that. We're going to change the color here so you can see the difference. Okay. So, as you can see, it did the same thing. It changed the columns, every other column, to another color. And here, now, the interesting thing is, whichever one is on top is going to be the dominant one. So if I want the columns to override the rows, then I need to just simply grab this and bring it to the top. And as you can see, it overrode the rows, and vice versa. If I want the rows to overcome the columns, I put this one on top. And that's how we are able to change in a very quick manner the color of every other row or column in a Google spreadsheet. Thank you.